going on guys in this video we are going to see an example of phaser in this particular problem we have asked to find out the current through this 2 ohm resistor now in order to do this one we are going to convert this time domain circuit into phaser circuit then we are going to find out the current in the phaser circuit then we convert that current back into time domain okay but before we do that we have to know what's going to happen to this current source when we convert this one from time domain to phaser circuit let's look at an example here let's say we have im cos omega t plus 30 degree and if you want to convert this one into phase circuit we have to pick up this im value and this angle that's going to be our current source im 30 degree okay that's the one we are going to do right here now let's go ahead and convert this one into phase circuit so convert convert to Phaser. Let's draw the new circuit. This is our new circuit right here, and uh, here we are going to have current source, and uh, this is our current source, and the value we are going to have is this I M value. According to if you compare this with this one, I M value and angle. Here our I M value is going to be four, and the angle is negative twenty degree. So we are going to have 4, negative 20. This is our current source. Now let's see what happened to this resistor. When we convert this one from time domain to phaser, the resistor doesn't change. It's still going to be the same. Okay, so we are going to have, let's get rid of this one. And here we are going to have two 5 ohm resistor, right? 5 ohm. And also here we have a capacitor. When we change capacitor into phaser, this is going to become negative J over omega C. And the omega values, whatever the value that multiplies T, in our case that's 100. So omega is equal to 100. Let's go ahead and plug it in this equation. This is going to be negative J over 100 times the capacitor. In our case, capacitor is 1 microfarad. So this is going to be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3. 10 to the power of minus 3, this is going to become 10 to the power of minus 1. That's going to become 10 on top. So we are going to have negative 10J. That's our new capacitor. And when we convert from time domain to phaser, this is going to become an impedance. Okay. So this is our new capacitor. And here we are going to have 2 ohm resistor because resistor doesn't change. This is 2 ohm resistor and uh, this inductor, when, when we change inductor from time domain to phaser, that's going to become J omega L. J remains the same, omega is 100 in our case and the inductance is 20 millihenries, 20 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and 10 to the power of minus 3 and these three zeros cancel, we are left with 2. So 2J is our new inductor new inductor is 2j so these all of these are treated as impedance so we have to treat same as resistance when we have resistance in series we can add them together right so we can do the same thing here and uh, when we have resistance in parallel we 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 do product over sum that's the thing we are going to do right here and also current is going to turn into capital i we cannot put i of t because we are changing this one into time domain to phaser. When we change from time domain to phaser, there's no t. Okay. Now these are the things we have. Now let's go ahead and find the current. But before we do that, let's combine these resistors together. Okay, I'm going to use this space right here. Let's go ahead and draw our new circuit. In the new circuit, what we are going to do is we are going to add these to this to a series so we can directly add them so the new impedance is going to become 2 plus 2j here we are going to have 2 plus 2j and if you notice these two are parallel right so parallel is product over sum when we have two resistor in parallel we can do the product over sum so if you do the product over sum you have to plug it in the calculator and you will get 4 minus 2j 4 minus 2j for this one 
and that's it and also we have the current source right here that's gonna be 4 minus 20 4 minus 20 degree and that's it now we are going to find out the current through this one that's our capital I to find this current we can do the current division in current division we pick up this voltage value that's going to be the multiplication 4 minus 20 and we pick up the other resistor in this case impedance so that's going to be on top 4 minus 2j divided by the addition of this impedance so this is going to be 4 minus 2j plus 2 plus 2j and if you calculate this one you will get 2.98 and negative 46.57 degree so this is our current in phasor but we have to convert this one into time domain to convert this one we do the back thing like the when we have this one we convert it like we pick up this value and this value right now we have these two values to convert this one back we have to do the same technique we pick up this value that's going to be our first value 2.98 and then cos this uh, omega remains the same that's going to be still 100 100 t then the angle is going to be negative 46.57 so 100 t negative 46.57 degree and ampere right so this is going to be our current and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching